I'd like to see uh, probably Samson, Derek, Andrew um, in the top five uh, with myself, you know. I hope I'm there. And, uh What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Starting this video with kind of a bad news. A news that won't please the bodybuilding fans around the world. Especially those who were eagerly waiting to see Good Vicho make his pro debut in Italy in just 10 days. So he was supposed to do both shows in Italy and Spain. But Vicho just made this disappointing announcement that his visa has been denied. So he won't be competing in the European tour. Now it really just boggles my mind that professional athletes are being denied visa. That is just some next level bullshit. But on the plus side, Vito has been granted the visa to US. So that means he can compete in the Legion Sports in 6 weeks time. And he can try and earn his spot there at the Legion Sports. And that is exactly what him and Chris Cito plans to do. As they are not putting a stop to this prep just yet. Obviously, it is a huge disappointment for all the bodybuilding fans, especially good Vito fans, because all of us were so hyped up for Italy Pro, and we were all making those comparisons of Regan Grimes and Nathan and Vito. And that is a major setback for good Vito as well, because he was prepping for this show for quite some time now. But on the plus side, now that he has this extra time on his hands, the chances of him showing up in a top tier conditioning, that are even more now. Keep in mind, Legion Sports is also gonna be one hell of a show, as there are guys like Charles Griffin competing there, and a lot of these guys who will not qualify for the Olympia in the European Tour. They will probably get to the US and compete other Legion Sports as well. Next up, we have Brett Wilkins' 9 weeks old physique update, who is getting ready for his first ever Mr. Olympia. And I'm sure all the fans and the bodybuilding fans in general are expecting to see some major size difference. Especially after that big off season that Brett had, after winning that big man weekend last year. And technically speaking, Brett had more time than all the Olympia competitors. Because the big man weekend was the first Olympia 2023 qualifier. And that happened just a couple of weeks before the Olympia 2022. So, Brad Wilkin had the longest offseason for 2023. Now the big question. Is a top 10 finish realistic? Because a guy like Justin Shire who is also making his Olympia debut this year, he thinks he's gonna crack top 10. But the thing is, it is really hard to predict that. Because we have never seen the top 10 slots this stacked up before. And if Nathan and Regan also get to the Olympia stage, they're gonna get even more stocked. So there are some big names out there to beat in order to crack top 10. Now with the whole visa situation of Bahros Tabani, Pratt will be looking to beat all the guys who are making their Olympia debuts this year. Obviously, I think if Bahros gets to the US, and I really hope that he does, he is definitely placing the highest out of all these guys. But in an another unfortunate event, where Bahros misses out for second year in a row, Brad will make a strong case for him to place the highest. His conditioning is always good, there is no doubt about that. And he is very complete from every angle. So let's see how well he does at his Olympia debut. All I can do is put my head down and work and follow the plan and just... Now let's talk about the athlete who is riding all the momentum right now to win Italy Pro and make a big statement at this year's Mr. Olympia. Yes, I am talking about none other than Regan Brooks. And Regan just keeps looking better and better in every physique update as he gets closer and closer to the show. But here I want to point out a specific clip from his YouTube channel where he talks about the guy to chase in the men's open bodybuilding right now. The guy who he thinks is most likely gonna win the Olympia this year. Yep, that is none other than Derek Lunsford. The former 212 Mr. Olympia champion and the second best bodybuilder in the world right now. I think Derek, like Derek has a, a lot of quality, you know, like his muscle is, um, it looks nice. He's got really good skin. The, you know, the, the hams are ripped. The, the shape is un unbelievable. Like he's got small waist, really, really wide lats and, and big broad shoulders. So 
For those of you guys who do not remember, Regan did qualify for the Olympia last year, and he chose not to compete, but he was there in attendance. So he saw all those amazing comparisons in person, and that is of the utmost importance here. And Regan says that it was so close between Derek and Hadi last year. They were damn close, to be honest. And, and honestly, I think Derek's going to improve a lot from last year. He's going to be up another 10 pounds, I'm sure, and put the muscle in the right places. And he's going to be probably pretty undeniable. Um, so that's the guy to chase, man. He's, he's got the structure. He's got the size. He's got the aesthetics. And um, that's who I'm you know, looking, looking to go after. Another thing that I really want to point out here is that Regan's mentality has changed a lot, especially during this offseason and this prep with me loss. A lot of the bodybuilding community still believes that he is an IG bodybuilder. And I have always maintained my position on Regan Grimes, that he isn't an IG bodybuilder. And I am 100% confident that he's going to prove everyone wrong this time. Now that is a guy right there who believes he can crack top 10 at this year's Mr. Olympia. Or at least he hopes that he can accomplish that. And I do believe that he can crack top 10, considering the structure and the muscle bellies that this guy has. His potential is huge. We try to reach my potential because I think I can be there. I just have to, just have to get it. Jay Cutler has talked about Regan's potential so many times. Milos thinks he has the best ship out there. Nick Walker just said that he has one of the best shapes in the world. So it's his time to show everyone what he is made of and what he can accomplish in the men's open bodybuilding. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.